Hello, this is Ari Casper, and I am on the faux world. Here's the faux sign in the in the spawn village, and I am here to show you a place where I'm going to build a shop. Now, over there are the admin shops where you're supposed to be able to buy and sell a variety of items. For example, this is the potion shop. Let's say I wanted to buy some gunpowder. I right click and I just bought 16. It's sulfur, not gunpowder. Why is it called sulfur? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> and if I left click I'm supposed to be able to sell it. Unfortunately the plugin that operates the shop isn't quite working so it says the shop owner, owner does not have enough money. So you can't you can buy but you can't sell. And how much money do I have right now? 14,000 so I, I sold a bunch of stuff in the brief time period when they were actually working. But uh, anyway, what I wanted to show you guys was this. There's an area of the town here which is set aside as shops. This is it in here. These are all the all the shops. I'll show you an example. This one, the B and D Deli. It's a food store. You can come in here and nice little setup. Got displays out here. This is where you can buy and sell stuff. Like suppose I wanted to buy a cookie or 16 cookies. I right click on the sign and now I have cookies. And I believe the way this plugin works is the money that I how much was it? $250 I spent on 16 cookies. And that went into someone else's account here on the on the server. And they've decorated a bit here. Here's a little library section. Very nice. Up here is a lounge. A couple of fireplaces. So that's the first shop. Second one is Ancient Arcana, LD Fate. And this one, I don't know if it's done yet, but you can, for 10,000, you can buy a book which will give you Silk Touch. I suppose you have to use that and a bunch of experience on a anvil. And he's also selling iron blocks, gold blocks, and diamond. He's not buying, only selling. This whole place is decked out in obsidian with various ores as color. Here's this floor. I think this is a quartz stairway. Come up here and here's the sort of attic area. Nothing up here but nicely decorated. So you see, you see what it is. Um, each of these little buildings can be assigned to an individual player and decorated, and then they can sell something to the other players on the server. This one is vacant, so this is the default that you get. You've got a wood floor, cobblestone walls, then these shelf areas or suggested floor locations. 
There's another vacant one. They're all exactly the same. This is how they start. Here's another one. Blaster's Boutique. Which they've done quite a bit of decoration inside, as you can tell. It doesn't seem to be done. There's no way for me to open the door. Anyway, I asked for one of the shops and I got one. This is my shop, as it says, coming soon. And I put a sign out. And when they gave me permission, they gave me, uh, they gave me permission on the server to change things in that space. Just to show you, here's if I try to place a block here, it tells me I don't have permission. Don't have permission, but I do have permission there. I do have permission there and there, but I don't have permission there. So I can change things in here, but no one else can, except for perhaps a moderator. And my first, I was trying to think of what to do in here. I can change the walls and the floor, and I, I changed the floor to sandstone because I just like the texture of sandstone. And I set up sort of a starter melon farm here. My first thought was, I just wanted to do something fun and interactive, mainly. I didn't want to do it to make money on the game, on the server. You know, it's, it's not real money. It's just money for the, for the faux world. And there's not a whole lot of people playing on the server anyway, so it's unlikely that I can make money, you know, in-game money using the shop. I replaced the cobble with stone brick up here. I was thinking about doing all the walls in that. Still not 100% sure of what to do as far as the walls and the, and the floors, but anyway. My first thought was to make a roller coaster. Sort of an indoor roller coaster where you you come in here and then right here there's a track with a um, mine cart on it. and you You get in and then you push a button and then you you take off and then go through a series of close twists and turns inside here and then maybe have a place where the mine cart falls off the track and then hits another track so you can uh, blow it so that you can continue and then eventually you know you go through a whole bunch of different turns and then eventually you wind up boom right back where you started then you can you know hit your shift key and get out and then either go again or, or let the next guy go but I looked at different designs and it's kinda of tricky designing a roller coaster for Minecraft because typically real-life roller coasters um, they kind of depend on like the sensations that you experience in your body as you go around turns or as you take drops and in Minecraft, it's all visual. You don't actually feel it. So you can't use the same techniques that you'd use in a real roller coaster. Um, so I decided not to do that. I actually, I had an idea of maybe I'll, I'd make another floating island over where my floating islands are and build a roller coaster up there. I might do that. I have a ton of, um, of track. So there's that. So I figured what I was going to do, as you can tell by the sign, is I'm going to make a melon shop. I've already made a um, pumpkin farm inside, you know, like an automatic pumpkin farm inside the pumpkin pie factory. So I didn't want to do that again. But I do like melons because you can... Uh, I can make it interactive in that I can have um, a redstone powered machine which harvests them. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make several floors of melon farms. 
I was thinking over here on the left hand side I was gonna have a button to push to get free samples they push the button and then it would harvest the ones that had grown since the last time somebody was in here and over here I was gonna have the place where you could actually click on the sign and, and buy them and you can you can buy melons in the admin shop um, I was gonna sell them here just just because I can so that's my plan I just I just did this I don't know why I did this just to grow melons because I'm gonna need a lot of melons I was actually entertaining the idea of putting melons in the walls like decorating like this instead of having this stone maybe I'll have stone but then just like a, a layer of melon around the room and then two more of stone and then another one of, of melon I don't know I'm not sure how to decorate it but if I do if I do uh, decide to do the walls in melon I'm gonna need a lot of them so that's the plan if you have any suggestions I am all ears I have these five beacons here this is what they give you speed strength jump regen and resistance jump pretty far now I'm not supposed to change the look of the outside although this uh, this person did replace this wool with glass so that's it for now thanks for watching can someone tell me please what kind of sense does this make a baby zombie pig man riding a chicken in the nether and carrying a miniature gold sword just staring at me and so is the chicken I'm just stepping away from you thank you very much